Hey, how's it going, y'all? Sean here, Fairweather Cards. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so a little different video here. Uh, I'm going to be sending off a few cards to SGC this week. Uh, it's the week of Thanksgiving. And uh, hopefully we'll get them back here in less than two weeks. So just wanted to show you what I was going to submit. And uh, maybe, I don't know, try to guess some of the grades. Feel free to guess along what you think. So starting off first, Hands of Gold. Uh, if you saw my last video, you saw this. Uh, this is just one of the insert cards from Tops late 90s. You know, with die cuts, probably going to get a, you know, eight or a nine. Those die cuts are rough, but I'm hoping that it gets a nine. Uh, here's the Zach Grinke uh, first Bowman Chrome card. And this dates back to what, 2002, if I remember correctly. Love Zach Grinke. Uh, has a little bit of centering issues, uh, so it's not going to be perfect. The scratches that you see are on the case, obviously. I'm hoping for a 9. I really hope it gets a 9. And same with the uh, Joey Votto here. Uh, some slight centering issues, but otherwise the card looks pretty good. Uh, Boba Fett, this is from Finest. Uh, and this is the blue version, so numbered 55 out of 150. This is a card that I plan to sell. Hopefully it gets a 10. That is the goal. Uh, Ernie Banks here, beautiful card in my opinion. Just love it. Now it does have the wax staining on the back on this 59 tops. Uh, not really sure what that's going to do to that. But otherwise, you know, it presents really well. I think it's a solid mid-grade card. You know, I'll be happy if it gets around the 4 or 5 range. Uh, interested to think what you guys th uh, th feel will, it'll grade as. Here's the uh, 93 tops traded of Todd Helton. Um, I'm hoping this gets a 10. I want this card to come back at 10. It looks gorgeous to me. Uh, Mr. Bob Gibson here. Beautiful card, in my opinion. This one... You know, it's it's not perfectly centered, but for a 74, it looks pretty good. It presents really good. I picked this up a few years ago. I'm hoping that it's like in the 6 or 7 range on this card. Uh, likewise with the Nolan Ryan, maybe a little less centering here, so a little more off-centered on this card. But otherwise, it looks sharp for, you know, 77 tops. You know, good mid-range, you know, 5 or 6, I'll be happy. Same with the uh, 75 Nolan Ryan. Obviously, you can see on the edges, there's some etching there, um, which is it's difficult on these 75 tops cards, but just a beautiful card. Uh, you know, I'm hoping, you know, in that five to six range, I'll be happy. The Joker, uh, Nikola Jokic, here's his rookie card. I think this one has a, a chance of getting a, you know, strong 10. I'm uh, worried about this Clemente. I'm just going to say that right up front. The edges look really sharp on the top of the card. So this would be on your right-hand side. And, uh, you know, I looked at it several times before purchasing this card um, and questioned whether or not it was trimmed. I don't think it is. But let me just say, it wouldn't surprise me if it comes back evidence of trimming. Otherwise, uh, this card, you know, it measured up where it should be. You know, I'm hoping for a good solid uh, four, maybe a five on, on that card. Nolan Ryan. This is a Nolan Ryan heavy submission. This is a 74, or excuse me, 73 tops. Nolan Ryan. Love this card. It is beautiful. Although there's some slight wax staining right at the top. So I sure hope that it doesn't come back as authentic. Um, you know, there's no color, nothing added to it, but you can see kind of a little bit of a darkness right there at the top. And then also this corner is, has some issues. So, you know, if it comes back a six, a seven, I I'm tickled and that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, 57 Frank Robinson rookie, not the cleanest of cards, but, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. Nonetheless, um, you know, if I get a four on it, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. Here's the second to last card, Mac McLean. I'm just planning on selling this card to pay for the submission, hopefully, because I feel it's going to be a 10. This is color match red, um, so numbered out of 199 on his rookie. And then last but not least, we have Ken Boyer and his rookie card. Um, looks pretty good, if I remember correctly. On one of the sides here, there's some, some pretty good edging 
uh, etching on it. But otherwise, and maybe a little bit of paper loss um, right there. So I don't know. Is it? Does it get a three? Does it get a four? You know, I hope so. So tell me what you think. Hope you liked it. And uh, as soon as I get the grades back, we'll uh, we'll do a uh, some or we'll do a reveal. So y'all take care out there and happy Thanksgiving. We'll talk to you later.